the AC-130. It's the world's biggest flying artillery gun. Its enemies know it as hell in the sky. So the guns are obviously what make the gunship the gunship. We have three side firing weapons. We can shoot two of them at the same time, either at the same target or at separate targets. Toward the front of the plane, the 25 millimeter Gatling gun. This is the 25 millimeter Gal 12 uh, Gatling gun. We call it the crowd pleaser. From the 350 round burst, it's just 12 seconds of a fireball coming out the side of the aircraft. It's pretty impressive. Behind it is a weapon in service since World War II, the 40 millimeter Bofors cannon. You can fire up to 100 rounds a minute. This is our most accurate weapon. Because of its low collateral damage, uh, it's the one we get to fire the most in combat. In the back is the gunship's specialty, the deadly and ferocious 105. This is the 105 millimeter howitzer. This is the biggest gun we have on the gunship. Its firepower is unmatched by any other airframe. This massive cannon can fire approximately 10 rounds per minute. It recoils with enough force to bench press over 20,000 pounds. We can put these on vehicles, hardened targets, buildings, any kind of structure that uh, we need penetrated. No other gunship puts more rounds on the ground, and troops in Afghanistan need every bullet. Over Afghanistan, Major Aaron Hall's AC-130 gunship prepares to fire at Taliban soldiers. His calculations must be perfect, or he risks gunning down the troops he's sworn to defend. It's up to him to choose the weapons. He selects the 25 millimeter and the 40 millimeter to target the Taliban street fighters. For insurgents shooting from the buildings, he picks the 105. Moments later, sensor operators target the enemy with the guns. Move them. Good. Come back on those guys. Here we go. And fire. Yeah. We began firing anything uh, within 50, 60 meters in any of the structures where we were seeing small arms fire. It's enough firepower to make most fighters turn tail. To take out the enemy without killing the friendlies, the AC-130 crew takes a huge risk. Just one miscalculation could be deadly. You're holding your breath the entire time, just hoping that everything you've done has been right as soon as the round went off. the enemy element dropped. It's a daring action that saves the lives of 50 American and Afghan soldiers.